get this thing from me? If you read the Bible from the Old Testament to the New Testament, nobody met God and left the same way. It is impossible. Say it with conviction and Jesus will intervene in your situation. He cannot force himself to, into your situation. You need to invite him. Your marriage is having problems. Jesus, son of David, help me. Your health is having a lot of problems. Jesus, son of David, help me. Your relationship is having a lot of problems. You don't know which direction. Jesus, son of David, help me. Your academics is having a lot of problems. Jesus, son of David, help me. Whatever be the situation, your business, your work, your job is having a lot of you know, ups and downs. You are disturbed in your office. Jesus, son of David, help me. Then he will come in. And whenever he comes into a situation, it is never the same. Whenever he meets us in a storm, he calms the storm. Whenever he meets us in incredulity, he raises us up. Whenever he meets us in darkness, there is light. Whenever he meets us in sickness, there is healing. Whenever he meets us crying, there is joy. Whenever he meets us dead, he raises us up. Whenever you invite Jesus, you can never remain the same thing. In any situation you invite Jesus, that situation can never be the same thing. It's a question of you having faith. And remember, in the book of Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, Jesus speaking to John said, I stand at the doorpost, that is the door of your heart, and I am knocking. If anybody opens, I will come in and I will dine with him. Jesus is knocking at the door of our hearts. Jesus is knocking at the door of our situations. He cannot force himself in. I insist on that liberty. He cannot force himself in. We need to open up ourselves. We need to invite him officially. For Bartimaeus, Jesus was the last and the only hope. Is Jesus your last and only hope? Invite him. It will never remain the same again in your life. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart, intervene in my life situation, and heal me. Amen.